I'm not mad at him. I don't feel like he did anything wrong. I love him. Like, he did what he was supposed to do for our kid. Like, you cannot tell someone they're wrong for protecting their children. It's been 11 days since Diana Jackson last saw her fiancé, Melvin Harris, as police took him to jail. Earlier this month, she says Harris was picking up their 16-year-old daughter and two of her friends, who had all just gotten off work. They asked to stop at the QT on 19th Ave and Dunlap for a bathroom break. That's when Harris's daughter says a man, Leon Armstrong, came barging in, shaking the stall door, trying to get to her. The only thing that goes through my mind is, what would he have done if he got in? Court documents show Harris and his daughter let employees and the hired security guard know what happened. But Jackson believes Harris felt not enough was done about it. Harris told the security guard to take care of the situation or he would do it himself. If you know there's a known problem, why not fix it before it got that far? As they were driving away, Harris spotted Armstrong again and got out to confront him. Witnesses told police Harris hit, stomped, and kicked the man repeatedly. Harris claims Armstrong swung first. Armstrong later died at the hospital. I would have did the same thing. I don't feel bad at all for his actions. I feel bad that the man ended up dying in the process. I do. Harris is now charged with second-degree murder, and Jackson left wondering when she'll see her fiancé again. But now he's a criminal for protecting his child? That's not fair. It's not.